what is going on lads? I'm X Tino, or you may know me Safi, and today I have a team to season Simon Mingale with you. Let's start with a bit about him. His name is Simon Mingale, obviously. He plays in the Barclays Prem for Sunderland and he is Belgium, so you can fit in Belgium teams. Obviously he's a goalkeeper and he goes for about fifty thousand to about sixty two thousand coins. His stats on his cards say eighty five diving and reflexes, eighty four handling, sixty one speed, seventy two kicking and seventy eight positioning, and I made quite a rubbish team. Why you do this, Alfie? Well, I have done this as I wanted to make my opponent have as many shots against the keeper as possible so I can get a really good reflection. So I played against one of my friends and let him shoot against me so I can give my opinions on Simon Mingale a lot quicker. Anyway, that's why I've got the rubbish team to let you know about it and the lack of a pace would really help with that. As if you've got a lack of pace, you're more than likely going to concede, and that's FIFA for you. Anyway, what is Simon Mignolet good at, and what's he bad at? I'm going to start off with some pros. His handling isn't the best, to be honest, but he does the job of it, which I really like about it. He really does the job of his handling. He puts it into areas where there's no threat, like if it's coming straight down the middle, and he's to palm it away, he'll find an area to palm it away. He is also very good with his feet, so if he has a chance to use him, use his feet he will use his feet and i really like that he also quick off his feet if he needs to come out and retrieve the ball he is more than capable of doing that and i really enjoyed that as my play style is counter-attacking football and that sometimes does leave me isolated so he can come out quickly to retrieve the ball and on corners that's something i don't like he's very weak like when he's coming out to maybe punch it away or catch it, if there's a bit of pressure on him, he just bottles it and he's too weak to do anything. He will not catch the ball because he will just get out of strength by someone. And if there's a corner, if he's coming out, there's no point because he's just going to get out of strength. And he doesn't have aerial dominance and that's kind of disappointing for a keeper. Also, I would like to say that his positioning was quite decent. As you can see on the clip on the screen at the moment, his positioning was really good as he saw the danger and he did a good save. Then he did another save to clear it off the line. Also, something I didn't like was his kicking. When you were trying to distribute the ball, if it was a throw, he, he would struggle to get it quite far and I really did not like that. I found his throwing quite bad and his kicking distribution of the ball was not good and that's also another thing I didn't like with him. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time.